Welcome back. We're going to continue from the last video and in this video we're going to improve our camera controls. If I press play you can see that the mouse can control the camera but it can go too far up and too far down so directly overhead and then also underneath and we don't want that to happen. So we're going to fix that. So open up the My Character Blueprint and um, the Atom Blueprint is basically derived from this blueprint so these are the nodes that are in control and mouse input is what we need to update so if I drag this here and give us some room we can see what's happening okay input axis lookup this is basically a delta it fires every frame and the axis value is the number of degrees that have changed since the last frame and then they get added to the current controllers pitch and that's how the camera knows how to change its rotation. So uh, what we want to do is we want to get the control rotation. Control rotation and while not always the case, it's you can basically think of this as the camera's rotation, although that's not entirely true. So we want to break this rotation and then remake it. So the yaw and the roll do not change and for the pitch what we want to do is take the number of degrees that have changed since the last frame and add them to the current pitch. And then we want to clamp this value. So the clamp, okay there, there are two clamp nodes here for the float and the angle and you want to select the one for the angle. The reason is that different angle values can actually mean the same thing and this node will handle those discrepancies or those cases automatically and you don't have to do the math for this. So you're going to have to experiment with what angle values work for you. I generally pick minus 40 and 40 and that works for me. You don't need to experiment with this. So we put this back here and then what we want to do is to set the control rotation. Set control rotation there it is set control rotation and this goes there okay so what was happening previously was that we would get a delta value uh, the degrees that have changed since the last frame and then add them to the existing pitch and basically this thing is doing this same calculation inside but uh, now we're just we're just going to replace the entire rotation rather than adding an increment to it so we put this there and that should work. Compile and error. Mm. It's not a controller. So how do we get the controller? Right, just do get controller. <laughs> okay. Get controller. And this should work. Okay, so it goes up till here, then it's locked, and then it goes down here and it's locked, and uh, well, basically it feels a little wrong because uh, if I move the mouse forward, it is looking downwards, and I, I would like to inverse this thing. So what we can do is multiply this with a minus one, and that will invert the axis multiply float by float and minus one then add this value there and this should work yeah that feels a lot more like what games are usually like and that's that one more thing change that we can make is that we can um, add some zoom in and zoom out control so basically if you go into components and uh, basically this is the camera boom okay it's it's the spring arm essentially if you add component you see this spring arm component that's what the camera boom is and uh, 
it has a length value target arm length okay so this value controls how far the camera is from the capsule and the mesh so basically we're going to set up a few nodes that can change this value and then the camera can move um, closer and further from the character so the way we do that is first we have to we have to set up some input values so go to input action mappings and we want to do a zoom in zoom in action and we will use the mouse mouse wheel up for this or you can use whatever you like and a zoom out value a zoom out action sorry zoom out and mouse wheel down right so move the mouse move the wheel up and it goes closer and uh, further accordingly okay so close that back in here then we can do zoom zoom in and zoom out okay just one last thing uh, if you look over here in project settings in input we added these two action mappings okay so these are binary values basically it will give you a, a pressed and released if we had act we have added them here in access mappings and well i'm, I'm not really sure if uh, how if the mouse wheel is available it should be it would give us a range of values from like zero to one or something so maybe if you wanted to base it on how fast someone was um, moving the wheel mouse or something like that you would add an access mapping it if you just want a binary value you add uh, an action mappings so back into my character blueprint so we have a pressed and released and basically what we want to do is uh, get to the camera booms size so this is the spring arm get it and you can see arm length okay get the arm length and set the arm length to something else I'm just copy copy pasting it from there so move that there and okay so if this is pressed or well pressed in this case is just rolled forward or backwards so what's going to happen here we have a arm length and this arm length will add float to float and subtract float from float so the default is 300 and if you add 50 to 300 you've zoomed out i guess right we'll just see if this works and if you make it shorter then you have zoomed in so let's see if this works right zoom in zoom out zoom in and zoom out and you can go right through and just keep zooming so we need to fix that so basically we want to clamp these values so clamp okay this is not an angle so just clamp float so the maximum value let's say it's uh, 400 yeah you, you can just pick whatever you want and 100 let's say so copy and paste this again and compile and play right so it won't zoom in any closer than this and it won't go directly overhead or directly underneath anymore 
And if you zoom out, and this is the further you can, furthest you can zoom out, and after that it stops working. Right? So that's it for this video. And in the next one, we'll see how to get this character into combat mode and a weapon and aim offsets and all of that. Okay then, tell later. Bye.